Brittany, Guy, I got a chance to watch some of the surveillance video from some of the businesses nearby. Um, in this parking lot, you can see a lot of cars parked here and people just hanging around. Right now, we're not showing you the video because the businesses, some of them, have chosen not to share that video with us at the moment. But just by looking at this parking lot here behind me, you can see the tire marks here. You can also tell that exhibition driving happens here quite often. We have one here and there's still some fragmentation left in the bread. It's become too normal now for counter manager Brian Clark and his Buffalo Electric Supply co-workers to find bullet holes and shell casings in the parking lot. We recently painted the, the building and you can see where it chipped off the paint, so we know this one is recent. After 3 a.m. Sunday, Birmingham police were called to 2nd Avenue North near the 800 block. They found 19-year-old Ja'Kia Winston dead in the parking lot. Police say a number of people were doing burnouts. One of the drivers lost control, hitting another car. That's when the shootout started. Four other people were shot. They were taken to the hospital by private car. Buffalo Electric Supply surveillance video caught it all. There was some return fire from the video uh, where the guys were returning fire from the guy that actually did the initial shooting. And our building took a couple hits. Another employee shared this video with us taken in July of someone doing burnouts in the same parking lot, but in broad daylight. Look at the parking lot. Look at the road. It's, it's Looks like Talladega drag strip. Mayor Randall Woodfin says current laws aren't strong enough to punish people, but he will work with lawmakers to create tougher laws and quote, end this public menace. In the meantime, Woodfin has come up with penalties of his own, like suspending someone's license for a year if caught and have their car impounded. First and second time offenders would be looking at thousands of dollars in fines. He also wants people who share exhibition video with police to receive a reward. Clark says he's got an idea of his own. I definitely would like to see a heightened patrol. I, I don't know what they could do other than doing that. And now an eight month old boy has to grow up without his mother because of an accident. Clark says got out of hand. It's just tragic. Lady lost her life for no reason. Now, the mayor says exhibition driving isn't just happening in one part of town. This is why he wants to work with the Department of Transportation to put strips down to keep it as a deterrent. Now, at last check, uh, Birmingham police say they have someone in custody and believe that there were multiple shooters in this incident. This is why they're asking people with information to come forward. So call Birmingham police or Crime Stoppers. For now, we are live in Birmingham. I'm Magdala Lusant, WVTM 13.